Mm, but but did you apologize to him and maybe the wife after that you incident? Know, you know, you know, you know what the 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 very traumatic thing about that Stone Boys episode was the fact that it was not an intent to have said something that I had not seen. Mm -hmm. So I saw messages on social media and I had a panel with me and I said, from social media, people are saying this about him. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't me, Miss G, saying this about him. Okay. So I asked the panelists, have you seen this on social media? Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, that's not even... So it was not there. even a straight comment from Miss G. It was a, a topic all. to discuss. Not at all. Mm -hmm. So we're discussing what had happened between him and um, uh, Angel. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then there was mm -hmm. comments on social media that the, the thing that the temperament... He issue, might blah, 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 be so doing he that. He might be doing that. So I asked them, have you seen this on social media? And the guy said, well, let's not even go to on that tangent that level, at all. Yeah. So we never even discussed it. Mm -hmm. Immediately I was done, Stoneboy himself was on my phone. Mm. So he called and says, somebody had told him that I said this, that, that. In fact, he even recorded that. No, he recorded that, piece. that part. Whether somebody recorded for him or whatever, mm -hmm. that part was sent to me. And I said, this is an inference from social media. He says to me on the phone that, you're my friend, but you know what? I'll let you bring those people on social media to the court when Please. I see you. Wow. So uh, in hindsight, because I know that I never even had any intent to even suggest suggest so, but it's because of commentary I had seen that I was asking these mm, questions. Mm, mm. It was on Saturday. By Monday, when I was on New Day, I had apologized to him. Oh, Just okay. when I went off stage at the set, his lawyers had written to me. Hey. Yes. <laughs> and the lawyer said this, they hadn't seen the apology on social and uh, oh. on television. Okay. So I should apologize again. again. So I think after two weeks after, because we had other events coming in mm, between our mm, Saturday mm, shows, mm, mm. after two weeks after, they kept pr pressing that I apologize. Mm. So I pulled the first apology from New Day. You played and it I back. Played another, uh, and I apologize again on Simply Show because mm. in my heart, that was not what you that meant. That was not what I meant. So mm. I, I just let it go. Mm. Are we ever going to get over artists and their emotional feelings over some comments sometimes we make on them when they think we are always at destroying them? Well, they are humans. Uh, it's about how they want to interpret these things. I think that some of the time, there are people who deliberately, of course, if they don't like you, deliberately always find fault. But also, I think that these artists should also look out for people who have been supportive. We can't always be glorifying you. When you go wrong, somebody should be able to say, I am a huge fan, but you have not done the right thing. Mm. And so you should treat those people separately from how you treat somebody who every day is on your case. Even when you do good, they never praise you. Mm. but they are quick to be the ones to bash you mm. then mm. we should be able to separate because they are humans it's just like you and i if you have one person constantly on radio bashing sami flex bashing miss g you begin to wonder ah uh, what, what is, is the, the problem? problem yeah and then you want mm. to go hard at them when you're fed up so they are humans like you and i but also if i have sami flex also sitting on radio and say oh miss g this this, this this and another day i go wrong and say oh charlie miss g and they one you've disappointed me i should respect you for being objective mm. so sometimes i think these are you should just take a back seat and analyze the people who are talking about them what they are saying about them mm -hmm. is it true mm -hmm. if it's not then you have also a right because people are sharing their opinions exactly you also have an opinion to mm -hmm. share so you can mm -hmm. also go ahead and mm -hmm. counter with your opinion mm -hmm. but i think sometimes they're just too swift when to you praise to them, they never come to say thank you. Mm. And and you know, I will blame fans for some of these things. So far, you know, it was just one fan who recorded even that tape mm. and sent it to him that he listened to what Miss G and the others are saying about you. Mm. Instead of him to also maybe take his time to analyze and, okay, how was it said? What could they mean? He also come straight and really the next day there was, a, there were lawyers chasing you. Yeah, that's true. Mm, they wow. were writing to me. It was, but it was, it was... Um, an insightful experience mm -hmm. and also it got me thinking mm -hmm. and I, I, I must say that it was um, that's why I said it was a traumatic season for me because I had to go off work because you know the fans will always come trolling you mm -hmm. and they were so hard and you know so you had to go off work because of that i went off work i i, I told i met aisha Modi. i had a conversation with i said stone boy made me i went to off work for one week because you know when you an genuine, office order or you decided to i just to, went to, i want just to have a space to myself to reflect go yeah off television mm. go off social media and just be you know see i told <laughs> you're telling me this i'm day. telling you i told aisha when i met her for the first time i said you know when you genuinely love someone mm. and then 
they don't regard that like, let love. me tell you and yeah. stone boy knows this when and i just have to make reference to it to tell you how much love i have for stone boy in his mm. part mm. when back in the day uh after the last bgm that got them banned he and shatawali mm-hmm, 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 if you mm-hmm. remember shatter and um one of his pas drag their feet on social media mocking stone boy mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i was the only one stone boy called me. i was in nigeria he called me i was the only one who spoke i said this is not right i was the only one bloggers picked the effort some early fans came for me but i just believe in my heart that this is somebody who didn't right, wasn't yeah. right. Mm. he called me says and this are stone boy's words if you remember himself he says you're the only one who has been true and know that what is going on is not fair I was in Nigeria, so he couldn't reach me on normal. I said it was a WhatsApp call. Mm-hmm. I remember that very well. So, in my genuineness for the love, or in my genuineness, I felt like, oh no. Even if I had said I made references to social media, I don't think that you should have gone this hard with the yes. People said, oh, he had to do with his wife, or but there were comments like that on social media. I didn't concord them. Mm-hmm. You understand? And it, it rather even affords you the opportunity to rather debunk them. I was them. just coming to that. Mm. And you see, when this thing happened between Stoneboy and Angel, because you've asked, I want to just back, yeah, go yeah. back. Mm-hmm. I immediately sent Stoneboy a message and said, look, my editors have sent me pictures that this is a story we are talking about tomorrow. Would you want to retract? Mm-hmm. Or would you want to react Respond to it? Respond to it, yeah. He read the message, went quiet. Never said a word to me. So when the issue came that I had said something from social media that had been misquoted that i said this that 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 he reached out and i said ah fo so i spoke ever with myself fo. <laughs> I'd he said i should not ask him when or how to handle the issue or something like that so just to say that you can't decide to me when i want to talk about the issue if i'm lying he's he's an artist who i'm sure somebody will let him hear this <sighs> so and you see but you see and not because it's only stuff, but I see a lot of the artists do that. But he went out there. In fact, re- all of them. He went out there to react to it. He went and gave the interview to a foreign media. Yeah, come I know. back to us and come and tell us we don't support you. You know, some of these things are sickening. Like, it's terrible to be hearing things like this. But your whole media has called you. It's better to say, oh, I'm not speaking about it now. But you say, I don't have the right to ask you that when to speak about it. Mm. But when you go out there, they are asking you the same questions. Mm. And you're speaking about them. And you come back and you want we here to rally behind you. It doesn't work like that. It's give and take. You give us, we take. We also give you, then you take. I wish we have more time to talk about this, but then we have a different agenda. Yeah. So maybe on another day, True. my producer will invite you. So we talk about industry, mm-hmm. some of the things we go through as hosts and our presenters on the showbiz platform. Because I know we all go through a lot. That's true. A lot of these things. <laughs> Komiche here has a whole lot of stories oh, too. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, I heard something and I was like, oh, God work in mysterious ways, you know. Uh, which one? The slap? Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, interesting times. 25 minutes after 11, the voice of the ever hardworking Miss G here with us on Showbiz Agenda. Now, you guys should not be surprised when after the show I announced that Miss V, uh, Miss G is with us uh, here at Zion. Hey! Hey! <laughs> you know, I've taken a long break from work. A lot of people are asking, you know, I, have you left? So if you do that, I I announced that, oh, Miss G is now on Xylophone TV. <laughs> Miss G, how are you doing, though? How are you doing, Very though? Very well, thank you. And I also remember I read your touching message on mm. your birthday. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And I watched your video. As a matter of whilst I was watching the video, I was waiting for you to share the tear. But I realized throughout the video, you did not say, ah, how did she do it? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Whilst I was watching, I knew, oh, Obesu is here. And to Obesu. And to Obesu. The video ended and there was none. You, you were still dry. Said, ah. How was she able to do that? Because I took some time to reflect before I recorded. Mm. You know, the thing had happened weeks before I recorded. I recorded on the the dawn of my birthday. Mm. But Mm. this had happened um, maybe like two, three weeks prior to my birthday. Mm -hmm. So I had ample time to grieve on myself. I had time to reflect. I had people speaking to me, you know, consoling me before. So at the time when I decided to do that, I decided to do that because I said to myself, hey, there are a lot of people going through things. Mm. And we are then we do not know. And Mm. sometimes Mm. there's pressure. Even from, that's why I said, even from me as a presenter, sometimes when I engage some of these people, hey, you've been married for this, and when is your child coming? Mm. Then now, I'm in their shoes and I'm like, okay, for all you know, this person has miscarried, but they have not been able to voice 
it out and you're reminding them of their pain mm. so i said okay let me now put this out and then at least caution all of us that we should be a little kind or mm. kinder if that's mm. it to mm. people when we meet them and talk about these issues with them because some people not everybody will come and sit behind the camera and tell you that charlie i miscarried this is what i've gone through I yeah put out that video in my in my dm people tell me about miscarriage for three times people say like there's there's a story that still touches my heart so today the woman says but you cry you've gotten pregnant and you've miscarried i've been married for seven years i've never you know so i'm like whoa so you can imagine what people are asking this woman mm. so i think that it's about time and i hope that is a conversation that you know people other people will pick on and people will be able to mm. share their experiences mm. so that mm. you know would we'll just be a little soft with people when they don't have a child yet Thank you so much. Now, Ghana Music Awards USA. What is your role there as Miss G? I'm a country rep. Uh, I'm the country rep for uh, Ghana Music Awards USA. Mm. The, is this your first year or you have been with them over the years? So this is my first year. The mm -hmm. the awards game is, is two years. Okay. But this is my first year with them. Mm. What is the main objective of Ghana Music Awards USA? So the objective of Ghana Music Awards USA is to reward and appreciate um, Ghanaian musicians who are here in Ghana, but are doing great both here in Ghana and even greater in the USA. Okay, so it is Ghana and USA only. Yes, Ghana and USA only. And also to appreciate the works of Ghanaian musicians who are based in the USA and are doing their exploits there in the USA. Mm, so it's a mm. collaboration, Ghana artists, USA based Ghanaian artists. Okay, yeah. so imagine maybe you are based in say Argentina, you are based in say Australia and you're also doing fine. Mm -hmm. um, will the scheme find a way to also put you as part of the organization? We are doing America. Ghana, USA yes. only? Yes what is your calendar year like first january to 31st uh, december oh okay so a clear year yes. as in uh, a clear if it is 2021 a clear 2021 yes, if you fall within in your organization mm. should an artist uh submit his works or you have a research team going around doing the collection of works for uh, consideration so um what's happening is that for the ghanaian artists here because uh, there's data already mm. we know that remedy does a lot of data yeah, collection yeah, and yeah. all of that so shouts to dan latin yes mm. so we uh, we have assigned dan latin and his team to give us data okay you know, so of the songs that are popular here and all of that and then in the usa what happens is that we call for nomination that because we feel like it's too big to say we're nominating a b some people might be doing better in some states and so we call for nominations and so ghana we already have data so dan will provide the data and then the board will sit and say you know this is popular here this fits here this doesn't fit here this doesn't meet the cutoff points and all of that. Mm. do you have cross categories where in one category there will be people nominated from ghana and musicians nominated from usa as well we haven't gotten there yet okay so at the moment you have only categories for uh, US and, and categories, categories for, for Ghana. Ghana. So in all, how many categories? How many for Ghana? How many for USA? So we have uh, 36 categories in all uh, mm -hmm. as we speak. Uh, 34, I think, uh, in all as we speak. But on Saturday, we would be able to tell you, you know, how many went for Ghanaians and how many are for Ghanaians in Ghana and how many are for USA-based Ghanaians. But I know that last year we had an artist of the year for Ghana and an artist of the year for USA. Oh, okay. So for the ultimate you don't have one for all no it won't be fair at all it won't be fair at all because for instance last year sarkodie won the artist of the year for ghana for ghana uh -huh. and nana nyc won the artist of the year in the usa i'm not sure a lot of us know nana nyc mm -hmm. so it won't be not fair much, to even yeah. put him in the same category with sarkodie remember that sarkodie is huge here in ghana mm -hmm. he's already huge among the ghanaian community out there in the usa mm -hmm. so it would be so unfair to have him battle with nana nyc who is also now getting maybe some states mm -hmm. to recognize him mm. and he's not even popular even here in ghana so you'll be asking now why do you put sarko with such a person mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. we separated most of the 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 um the categories. huge categories mm -hmm. uh, we have uh usa has their category ghanaians have their category i see now who are the founders of ghana music awards usa because i know almost all the awards we know the brains behind them but ghana music awards usa it is not too clear who or which people are the founders so the the ghana music awards usa is founded by dundee entertainment and high life media these are the two groups that came together to put together. Dundee Entertainment, Entertainment and, and High Life Media. Media. High Life Media, um, 
I know some names there. Yeah. So it, they, they are not personalities, as they are groups already. Yes. Oh, okay. Dundee. So the people who are heading these groups. So uh-huh. Dundee heads uh, Don Entertainment. Kofi uh, Mensa Capito also heads his High Life Media. So they are the two institutions who are fronting uh, this. Okay, so because you were not part of last year, I'm sure we can be talking about what is about to happen this year. That's true. So on Saturday, you are announcing your nominees. Yes, please. And if I get nominated mm-hmm. and I want to be part of the event, maybe summer or any of the mm-hmm. winter seasons, how do I go? How do I fly to USA to be part of this event? Okay, so let's start from the nominees announcement. So that, mm-hmm. like you said, is happening this Saturday mm-hmm. uh, in New Jersey. Okay. Uh, so oh, so you are doing the nominee announcement in in New Jersey. NJ. In person. Okay. So mm-hmm. we have uh, Ghanaian. So when are you going? <laughs> we have the nominees announcement in New Jersey on the 17th, which is the Saturday. Okay. What will happen directly after is that every nominee gets a certificate to show that they were nominated in so, so, so category. So some reflex you are nominated in reggae dance hall category. Mm-hmm. We have a certificate that shows that, oh, this is from Ghana Music Awards USA mm-hmm. to recognize the fact that you work hard in that category and have placed or gotten a nomination mm-hmm. in that category. Okay. So you have that first. So everybody gets that, both those here in Ghana and those, and everybody can attest to the fact that last year they got theirs. Everybody has got their plaques. I need to say also Th- those who won year, last year. From okay. last year. Mm. So after that, then the voting starts. Mm-hmm. So we begin to vote, and whilst the voting starts, we are preparing for the event itself, which is scheduled to happen in August. Okay. Now, so in August, by the time it's August, we know if some reflex is performing on the night, if some reflex is interested in attending the awards, how can we facilitate? Some reflex get into the USA. Does some reflex have uh, have a visa already? Are we supposed to book his ticket? How are we doing that? Are we accommodating him? What's the agreement? So that's room for all the RTs who will be nominated to mm. either come if they want to even perform on the night if uh, the the team decides that these are the ones who are going okay to- so whether you would go as an artist or not it's your choice as an artist it's not the organizers who determine that okay we can only facilitate visits for say 30 people who were nominated from ghana the artists decide the, the organizers will place an invitation to you what if you're not interested in coming mm-hmm. so it's, it's, it's a two-way affair. So, oh, Samiflex, we are inviting you. Oh, I'm not interested. Samiflex, we are inviting you. So, do you have a visa already? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, no, I don't. So, we are sending you uh, all that it matters to take to the embassy to get a visa. So, it's a two-way thing. Either the artist is also interested or not. And if the scheme also can accommodate all the artists involved. Mm. Mm. When it comes to performance, I know the organizers will select who should perform. Mm. But in your submission, you said uh, if you want to perform, you can also suggest blah, blah, blah. Boom, I'm boom, saying boom. that if, you, if you're going to perform on the night, that means that we would have to make accommodation for you to either be flown out from Ghana to the place and also accommodate you to perform. So it's the team that would decide solely. But you know, there are other management teams who are very proactive yeah. who will by all means reach out to you that no matter what, I want my artists to be there to perform form and that's also a team to or management to management conversations that mm. those ones i leave to uh the founders to mm. decide mm. now what is the process like maybe i want to go and witness the event mm. as a nominee mm. um uh, is the organizers or are the organizers taking care of my tickets are they taking care of my apart from helping me to get my visa are they taking care of my accommodation and all those things uh, th- those are conversations that will come up of course gradually because like i said the team will decide to let us know how many people they can accommodate how many people's uh, 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 tickets can they pay? How many people are they willing to invite? Who are priority and who can we say, okay, yes, if you win, we bring it to you here in Ghana because we cannot accommodate it because it's a business they're running. And so, of course, we have to look at uh, what's coming in and what's going out mm. as well. So, mm. I'm sure that after the nominees announcement, all these conversations will definitely pop up. Okay. And for the teams who are interested, of course, they can always reach out to say, oh, we are interested in this. And then management will decide to take it up and know whether, yes, we can do something about it. Mm. Now, because we are running the scheme in two countries, mm. do you have board and academy members different from both countries? So we have board members. Uh, our board chair for the year is Akwesi Abwaji, mm. of course, you know, despite media. Mm. And uh, we have board members, both Ghanaian board members, Ghanaian based board members, and USC. Who only oversee nominations from Ghana? No. 
what happens is that uh -huh. so these board members are on the board so when they call for nominations you know because you are you live in the u.s i'm using you as you know yeah. you're able to say that yes 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 this song is popular in the usa but the Ghanaian board also will say have we heard it here before or oh, maybe you have heard it this artist came to ghana to do promotion so i've heard it okay so that's uh, that jaw join between the Ghanaians based in the usa who are on the board and the Ghanaians based here who are on the board on deciding who makes a nomination Oh, okay. So it is not as if you have a different board only looking at the affairs of Ghana and some for the America looking at the no, affairs of it's, America. It's, it's a joint it's board. A joint board. Yes, uh, beyond the board, do you also have Academy of Industry people yes, who yes. also support by voting? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. The Academy, I know that some of them, some of you are on the Academy. We have the Academy uh, group active. Mm -hmm. We're just waiting. The Academy is just waiting for the nominees announcements. And then, then there's also the voting, which is done online. So we have the text voting and then we have the facebook voting which you can only do once with your account mm -hmm. and then uh so we have all those set aside and then the academy comes in with your 30 percent the board has 30 percent and the 40 percent is for the public <laughs> I've seen this year you guys have started announcing Adonko as the headline title sponsor. sponsor or the title sponsor. Mm -hmm. Um, do we always get sponsors from Ghana or sometimes you even get some brands in the USA also supporting? You know, last year was the first uh, edition. There was COVID, but I need also to say that because I wasn't part of the last year team, I will not be able to say vividly that there was uh, a sponsor on board because I know that what happened was that we even we had. A, a, a part done here in Ghana and we had another part which was in person in the US because at the time we we're having the awards the borders were closed so yeah. we just no had one to could fly here yeah. and a virtual one here in Ghana mm -hmm. but this year beautiful enough I don't came on board so at least I've seen that there are people embracing it and I don't has come on board with this product I know that uh Don and the team has been telling me that some other people have reached out as uh, supporting sponsors as well mm -hmm. so it's not easy but I think people are warming up especially the Ghanaians who see the opportunity in uh, marketing their products out there in the USA. Mm. But how has acceptance been in the USA mm. so far with the scheme? Acceptance is huge in the USA because you know only in the state that the event is being held, or even no, from the other states. No, that's why we call for nomination from other states. So it's huge. I know that we even have over we've exceeded uh, the number we've been given by the auditorium we are using. We're given only 150 people, and so it's strictly by invitation. But you, you keep hearing artists out there saying they want to be part of it. They want oh, so in August, uh, that is for the no, main just event. For the oh, for the nominees announcement. Yes. Okay. So uh -huh. in by August, I'm sure that the vaccine we're taking vaccine people are opening up so hopefully things will be better then we can have you know a better number or an appreciable number than 150 join us but the people out there in the u.s because the scheme you know is named ghana music awards usa they want to even identify than the Ghanaians because it means that you're having an opportunity to collaborate with Ghanaians okay when they come there for the events or when they when you even are on the list that means that the people who are organizers can facilitate a collaboration for you because if I say Adam is a nominee, it means that I have access to Adam and his team. If I say you, uh, uh, some flex, you live in the USA, you're a nominee, it means that I can put you two together mm. or make broke a deal for you. Okay. So they are interested because they are having the difficulty of touching base with us here. So some of them would have to fly to come here and do their media tour. What about those who cannot fly and do their media tour? So they see it as an avenue of not just being appreciated, but also collaborating and touching base with the fans here at home. Mm. Mm. What has been the main difficulty so far putting together an award scheme that encompasses around two countries? Um, I would say, then you will talk about money, sponsorship. <laughs> sponsorship is a huge deal, you know, and also, I think this year, we have been very, very lucky. The media has put into it, so a lot of people are giving us airtime. But previously, I think it's the acceptance of an award scheme that is Ghana Music Awards USA, seeking the interest of Ghanaians here and the musicians who are Ghanaians based in the USA. You know, that kind of, mm, you know, uh, okay, who are these people, that kind of thing. But gradually, it's better, but major for us is sponsorship and of course covid mm. is another challenge for every event organizer mm. okay thank you so much miss g now let me come back to my people here i know they might have some one or two questions and then main chatterman is here kobe che is here and yao gray is also here and then a question or two uh, before we wrap up well mm. i think um it, it's it's a good thing you know ghana music awards usa mm -hmm. You know, such award, if we allow it to, you know, stand the test of time, I think they can 
we always say America is like the you know the capital town of entertainment or the home of entertainment, mm -hmm. and it has all the plugs. So mm -hmm. if an award scheme like this is able to stand the test of time, mm -hmm. get the necessary recognition in the US, and get a lot of network there, I think it can do a lot of good to Ghanaian musicians mm -hmm. where they can plug them because we have always talked about that. That is what we need. So we all need to come together, put every kind of power we have to make sure it stands tall there because it's going to be like a rep for our musicians you know there mm -hmm. so we all need to come together all the stakeholders those involved in the value chain they need to ensure that that scheme stands mm -hmm. so that we can penetrate but, but so market. far so far uh, is our industry supporting it the local industry are we giving it the necessary attention well, it deserves well i think uh whether they are giving the necessary attention or not the organizers can tell more because if you look at uh the industry there is a lot in the value chain mm. we have the ministry we have the media we have the artists as a body we have uh so many you know facets mm. now there are points they will need the ministry as part of the industry mm. so at this point they can tell us whether you know the ministry has been forthcoming with the kind of collaboration they want with them okay but so, on so, the so, media so, front no, no, i can say let's ask i can say that we are supporting yeah, so them. let's ask straight okay. Miji, how has the ministry uh maybe ministry of agencies or the ghana tourism authority are they supporting it anyway um I, i'll start for the ministry they are now settling in so we don't think that it's even appropriate to send our issues to the ministry the minister got uh, uh vetted and approved just recently we are still waiting for a deputy so that uh, it's very considerable if we haven't reached out to them because of the timing of things uh, but the media has done excessively well you gave me an opportunity almost everybody i've reached out to has given me the opportunity and so as for the media i think that we've done extremely maybe because i'm one of you, you know, yeah so it's yeah, easier yeah. because we know that yeah. you know uh, it's our game you know that kind we of have thing. to play so, together so i appreciate mm. everybody who has mm. given us the opportunity yeah. okay mm. so that so is they've, good. They, they've not come in yet yeah, the media <laughs> okay and there is the artist side you know at times when it gets to a certain point some of the artists might not look at a bigger picture maybe they want to get their pound of flesh within a short time mm. and that is where their focus is if you ask organizers of our war scheme which are even big in ghana here they will tell you that they do have a lot of problems with artists because at times they are not some of them do not see why they need to support industry mm -hmm. they they treat industry as a foreigner mm -hmm. and they want to take their pound of flesh without thinking of maybe how can i for the industry to grow so that i also benefit from the industry mm -hmm. and i know definitely when it comes to that point they will have problem last we were talk, speaking to sadek of air and he mentioned some challenges they have with these established artists and they had to you know look at the plan b so at that point i know they will have that issue but when it comes they should also find an alternative out to be able to now when i look at the scheme i think at this i've seen it's very strategic you know because they they have two markets that they are serving mm -hmm. and they want every market to have you know it's fair day a fair share they do mm -hmm. not want to you know uh, cr uh cramp mm -hmm. the two market mm -hmm. because if you are not careful mm -hmm. you can sow some seed of you know you know discord or confusion yeah, no people to lose confidence okay so the u.s people anytime they are maybe merged with the Ghanaians, they'll feel like ah, they were in for Ghana. Ghana so, the so like if you are not careful, those in the U.S. might lose interest mm. in the Ghana music mm. and U.S., which is in their you know hometown yeah. or in their territory. Mm. So you have to play the game safe, and they have done it beautifully well. So I think the focus is how to build some of the artists there and build some from Ghana, so that they team up to become one unit, mm -hmm. and it's a good way. I want to tell them that uh, they they need to think two ways now they need the industry support the industry will come and support them now when the industry also needs them they should not turn their back at the industry because if it happens that way it means someone will learn his or her lesson in the next days to come and it might create some 
problem for them. Okay. We want them to stand the test of time so that at the end of the day, Ghana music industry will benefit. So we are all waiting. Mm. That is where we can On talk Saturday. more. On Saturday. Yes, because <laughs> that is where we can peruse, you know, the, the nominees, nomination yeah. they have put yeah. forward uh -huh. to say, okay, they got this right, they didn't get this right. Oh. But all the same, I wish them all the best. Um, I know they will get it right. At least they will pick some lessons from VGM and 3 Music Awards so they will get it right. <laughs> <coughs> yes, Mr. Chi. Mr. Ba. Yes, boss. Mm. <laughs> Uh, let me use your platform to say that uh, she inspires me so much. Mm, yeah, I know. Yes. I'm, 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 I think on her birthday you wrote same. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> your confidence, your communication skills, mm, mm. like everything. Yeah. And so anytime I watch her on Twitter, like your mm. your interview skills. Mm. I'm so I'm so humbled to, to watch you every day. Miss G, Miss G, when you. she's interviewing you, she, she'll be having ways to be, yes. keep you into yeah. the news. I tell you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any, anytime I meet her, I know how she will yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. I also can't prepare for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you are not careful, you, you go ahead and learn from you. You know, yeah. you learn from you. I see the way you start out with a stone boy. You will land you in trouble right now or something. Mr. J, you have to ask you. Yes. So, you have to push it up. Amen. Um, mm. I think I like the idea of the certificate mm -hmm. because we've seen artists i mean a lot of our, our award schemes mm -hmm. nominate a lot of artists and they go home with nothing mm -hmm. i mean if you are learning from the best we need to learn more because i don't they have been nominated for vgm with three music awards you ghana music awards you were what shows what shows mm -hmm. my kids are coming up mm -hmm. i need to prove to them that at least i was nominated and this shows mm -hmm. okay you can't turn it and i say any article say you nominate me and i say anyhow Tunya frame be the ball. Yes. Eh, paper. But the best thing I've heard is that she's going to What I say, and I'm sure because it is US, they will set some standard. That if they are going to even give you some level of that certificate, you know, at least they are going to do it very well. No, they won't just come like paper. So I think that is a very good idea. Again, networking. And Adam said, are you guys putting together like col collectively? How uh, if the artists come there? Are there going to be some interviews? To introduce them to the to that market because let's say Kwame MP is performing he comes days before are there any arrangements like is it, do you guys have like a conscious effort that when the guys come there's going to be some level of at least support support giving mm -hmm. them some, some few fans around some promotional platform yes so that when they come at least they will know that they're traveling even if they're going to buy their own tickets mm -hmm. They will know that they are coming to. They are it coming was, to. Was profitable. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to know. Secondly, I want to know the theme of this year's award. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the theme? Okay. So let's start with the if the artists show up. Um, all of that on the night. Yes, there's going to be media. But also now that you have introduced that topic, I'm sure that the team because High Life Media, uh, which is owned by uh, Capito, already owns. They have a media platform, platform. Yeah. Yeah. You know that's that interacts with Ghanaians but again you've mentioned it I'm sure that the team will hear and also now think of how to strategize to expand you know uh, the conversation with these artists maybe to have them come days before so that they can do the media rounds and all of that so yes there will be media on the ground but there's also an introduction that I don't know if the team has in place because like I said last year there was COVID so we didn't have to experience that to see whether oh when they went they went to this media house and all of that and the plan for August hasn't been rolled out for me to know and say categorically that this is the mm -hmm. plan so let's mm -hmm. say that you have drawn our attention to that and so definitely beyond the media that we know would we'll make an effort uh, if possible to reach out to these people now also um we said that we're here for the music here for the culture and here for africa that's what we see is our theme that's what we see on our artworks and all of that so that's what's the theme for this year mm. is it like uh, this year's here, theme here for the yes. music here for, here for the culture, culture. here for the culture mm -hmm. And here for Africa. here for Africa. So that has been the theme like throughout when you guys started. Or um, I joined this year, so that's the theme that we're using running with. This okay, year. which is good. Here for the music, here mm -hmm. for the culture, and here so for it's Africa. Here for music, culture, mm -hmm. and Africa. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. then uh for the culture, no mess. I was kim to be a one 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 UK, but kona foreign name and kwa who wrote the tournament foreign name and all. Okay, if it is the culture, I'm sure maybe someone would love to invite a white friend. Mm -hmm. Let's make the auditorium 
look like an African, mm. like Ghana. Mm. 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 Adding something to it. Mm. Mm. I think. Uh, <laughs> maybe, 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 <laughs> as somehow what kind of thing become? <laughs> is he, I think uh, at the at the official launch, they were saying like as part of the plan, they want to organize a food party or something on Sunday. Like that's a day. Eat, yeah, yeah. yeah, eating okay. local food and other things okay. too. For, for the main the event, culture, yeah, okay, you know, part yes. of the culture. Ah, uh, it's in the best place. Say culture, and they never say the culture, and they go Ghana for some because the costume in the best room. Now more than culture, no so I can. Now you say you sell it. All the breakers are quite a bit you. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Kobe J. Yes, you agree. You come through a question or two for Miss G uh, before Masa. she runs away from here. Mm. 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 My question as an artist, I'm saying uh, uh, like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a good uh, initiative and you know uh, I can't wait to be part of it and I want to say sir it will really help mm -hmm. both sides being like artists in Ghana and artists in the US, USA you know? okay. it will really be a good way to bring us together because mm -hmm. most of the time you know we need some things like this to happen but mm -hmm. and this being the second time you know I just want to um, say sir may assure sir whatever mistakes that happened first time mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it's not going to happen the second time yeah and definitely say we bit my best in the mistakes baby but still you know it's in the best way say like both industry you know, from Ghanaian artists in the u.s and Ghanaian artists in ghana and i think it's the best thing mm. are you expecting to be nominated <laughs> and on saturday we we'll all be looking yeah, out for that yeah, so yeah. maybe what saturday what time exactly are we doing the announcement so we're starting the red carpet at 4 p.m usa time and okay. the event's supposed to start at 7 p.m usa time yes so that will be about some we're into the night by then here yeah. yeah so yeah there are some five hours ahead of us so that'll be like nine that way here in ghana yeah okay okay mm -hmm. it's saturday so yes. it's it's not wrong for us to keep mm -hmm. our weekend watch it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are, are you doing a cross event as in some happening in usa some happening here no, or everything is happening, is happening in the usa in new jersey yes. okay yes. good so mm -hmm. happening in usa mm -hmm. also because we want some attention for the artists who are there but a lot of Ghanaian artists who you already know who mm -hmm. have either relocated or they're in the u.s as we speak uh, uh would be there at the event so we'll be able to identify with some of them then we are introducing you to new artists who are mostly the ghanaian based usa artists there uh who would also be there uh, so that you can see them and maybe identify them with their song and their face and all of that mm -hmm. uh, pop skinny we already know oh stop talking about pop skinny we already know here <laughs> so, um, no, no 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 i mean miss you also have this question mm -hmm. so between these two countries mm. which of them is your priority in terms of uh, maybe if tomorrow this one is not there the event can still continue it will be fair it will be unfair to say that any is our priority you know uh, we are doing it for Ghanaians. uh we like the fact that we keep hearing that all oh, the nigerians are far gone they are far gone because they are penetrating every market they can get so we also say let's also put forces together and penetrate these markets without the usa based Ghanaian artists we will not be able to have the show without the Ghanaian based Ghanaian artists will not be able to have the show they are all Ghanaians who are projecting our culture through their music and so we say that let's give them all a fair platform mm. to be appreciated mm. are we likely to host the main event in Ghana some years to come maybe years to come like I said last year we had the virtual awards from here in Ghana so whilst the in-person was happening in the USA live work like you're saying we're crossing here to Ghana to take some live performances and have the people have a feel of it so maybe gradually one day we'll say okay we are moving all the US based artists uh, to Ghana to come and have a feel of uh, this awards uh, here in Ghana mm. so far the top artists are they uh, showing enthusiasm for this particular award they, yeah a lot of them um, have uh, either put in an endorsement to say that oh they are hoping to be there in person on saturday uh, i've seen people tweet and talk about it so, so they, it's for them like we are saying uh, there's nothing else they can rely on this is for them this is to show appreciation for their work so we just they will just have to you know rally behind it hoping that you know they also would see the benefit the benefit that comes with uh being part of the scheme mm. 
how does the award schemes we have here influence Ghana Music Awards USA? There are other songs uh, or majority of the songs from here. So the artists here have a huge influence on the award scheme. If there are no songs, there will not be Ghana Music Awards USA. So we, the inspiration actually is from the artists. Once they go to the studio to record, we know that oh, they are keeping the uh, industry vibrant. Then we say, okay, there's a reason to to honor them. So the music here in Ghana plays a major role uh, in the scheme uh, Ghana Music Awards USA. <coughs> The winners of the scheme have something they will get apart from or beyond the trophies and maybe the certificates. Uh, are there some special things for them? Last year we did the plaques, um, and so this year we're hoping to see what will be new at the nominees announcement when we put out the nominees. Definitely, if there's going to be anything in addition, uh, we'll definitely get to know uh, at the nominees announcement. Okay, thank you so much. Any final information you want to share? Our time is up before we run away. Okay, so if you permit me, just to say thanks to Adon and also to say that uh, we'll be streaming live on uh, GMA underscore USA underscore platform on Instagram. Also, uh, we have Kofi TV also streaming live. Uh, oh, okay. ABN Media uh, will be carrying that as our media partner as well. So if you're looking forward to watching what will be happening at Ghana Music Awards USA, these are the platforms that you can join us on. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. J. Oh, show Facebook. Test. Uh huh. Profound or can just I'm not trading in accurate. My brother, no, I. The system can't detect the English, but Miss Didi, you know, the same thing on point. Yeah, good, bro. From right now, system will say, "Come on, ha." Let me tell you, you are crazy. You are crazy. The film rise. Miss Didi, and I'm so sad. Let me do this. Let me do this. Miss Didi, I want to believe you've listened to your talks, um, freestyle. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> if, not, tell a lie. if not listen no, to I it the uh, last i heard of you yeah, oh you are off air at the moment eh? yeah, so uh -huh, that's why trying to take some time off yeah, but the last yeah. i heard was the bet acknowledgement which i yeah. thought was a big deal for the young man um um in my house there's a lot of noise being made about him because of stormzy as well so <laughs> Um, I think that he's doing well. Kudos to him for to see it. I think he says a 17 or 18 or 19 yeah, yeah. Uh, young man doing great. I just pray that whoever is handling the young man keeps him on track mm. because there's a lot of things that he'll be exposed to. Okay. And then he has to develop a tough skin because, like I said initially, we won't be praising you all day when you. I, I presume that this thing didn't go well. That's why you're asking me. So if it doesn't go well, we well, some people think it was okay. Others mm. also think nah, it did not go you well. You should go like and that. ask Kamina MP what happened to him. No, he's a fantastic actor. Is, but the guy came back and said, look, that's not my field. But if this is your field, then you have to come hard because they are predecessors. They are people who are still on the same level with you, who are still, you know, trying to get space. So if you want to do these things, you must be prepared to do it and be ready to receive feedback. It's not, nobody hates you. Like we're celebrating you when the BET acknowledged you, we celebrated you at Three Music Awards. Why can't we also critique your performance if it doesn't go well? Mm. Why do you see that one as hate? Why mm. haven't you seen the uh, applause? you've been giving up up to now uh, my nigerian just came out up to now um as you know the hate you're thinking this one is if you love the applause make room for mm. the criticism because they'll come it's only it will only shaping you you know mm. it'll get you performing even better mm. so imagine we're all hailing him for this one that i've not heard even though it was bad he will go on an international platform and they'll say, ah, is this the guy who BET is talking about? Is this the guy who everybody's talking about? Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. we can all do this where we are. So, I think that sometimes these artists should have a big heart, mm, you know, mm, and accommodate mm. some of these things. It's most often, and I'll not say all the time, but most often, it's in their interest. Mm. Do we show bias in our presentation as entertainment show host in ghana like for instance maybe uh miss g has some favorites when they are in the when they are on the chopping board she has a way of massaging the issues so that they don't get hurt more not you alone like all of us do we show that level of bias in our presentation well, i'll speak for myself because you know uh, there's there was a time where people say oh people are working with people from media teams and uh, people's uh, management and all of that um you know this work is for money so people would justify you know people would justify why they would speak in favor of somebody mm -hmm. and speak against somebody but 
personally, I don't think any of the top artists are my friends because they feel like I'm never, I'm not predictable. I'm not on your team. I, you don't pay me. I speak my mind. Mm. When I feel it's okay, I hail you. When I feel it's not right, I say, Chale. So for, now you can, I cannot say that Sack is my friend. I've never even thought of that. So I, I can't say Chatawali is my friend. I've not, uh, I can't say Stoneboy is my friend. But when I meet you and it has to do with the job, mm. I go to you and I ask you the questions I have to ask you. And thank you very much. I walk away. Mm. So if we all would treat the job like that, then the artists themselves who know that ah this girl on Kami team who in T the other can be an AFA and on Kami rival team so mm -hmm. you know that the, the mere feeling begins to um the feeling erupts in their minds when they know that okay so Miss G I'm part of maybe your talks team in T even if your talk is right and I come and speak about your talk oh or can it team who in Tia and then maybe your talks rival feels i'm not on their team so mm. when they are wrong and i say it oh on can it team hunt here but again i said initially that we are doing this for money so that people will justify mm. why oh they would have to be on team a and push team a agenda but mm. even when you're pushing team a agenda be fair be able to back what you're saying for the rest of your life you know because sometimes some of these people who are on these teams today they'll say a when the artist goes wrong tomorrow they'll say b when they're not with the artist so sometimes even your credibility is questioned okay you know as the journalist as the presenter as whoever so i think that put your credibility first and mm -hmm. that's what i try to do mm. like you're asking i've been dancing to stone boy song ever since i still talk about stone boy scraps i talk about uh, uh shatawali i talk about samini i remember there's a story i did about samini somebody asked me in one of the groups how much am i being paid for this story i did about him because they felt it was a negative story that's what they felt i said well this is my job i present to you the news as you also give it to me mm. and again before i go i want to say that some of the things that we put out are things that these artists feed us with Mm. we don't mm. go racking mm. our brains we don't concoct them exactly <laughs> and say that oh you've said something that you have not said if you go naked on social media i see it i report it as such mm. if I'm and i to... discuss it as such exactly mm. if you do write on social media or you do it where i can see it as an event i will come and talk about it the way it should mm. you don't determine you don't determine sometimes what should be talked about about you mm. you determine what you put out about you mm. if you give me negative press I run with it. If all you do is to give me positive uh, 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 press, I run with it as well. So mm. these artists sometimes should slow down for us.